This presentation focuses on how to synchronize ACT groups with Outlook. The, the topics will be, we'll explain the benefits on the group synchronizer as well as we'll demonstrate how these options work in real life uh, using our contacts database and our software. With 123 Synchronizer, you can synchronize ACT groups with Outlook. These groups can be static, dynamic, or a combination of both. You can also match the number of Outlook items to the variant ACT group memberships. For example, if you have a dynamic group that keeps changing, you can instruct our software to maintain a replica of that in Outlook as well, without actually deleting the contacts in ACT. In addition to the groups, we, uh, we have an option where you can transfer all the activities and the activity-related contacts over to Outlook. In addition, we, you can establish a single group membership when only that group is being transferred to Outlook. We'll show that later. And our custom users feature, where you, uh, which allows you to create custom users, allows you to synchronize multiple ACT groups to multiple Outlook or Exchange folders. Let's see how 123 Synchronizer deals with groups. So to select your group, you simply click on the Contacts filter and then just select what group you want to use. In this option here, we've selected Friends as the group. You can actually see how many people are in that group just by clicking the preview button and the synchronizer will go into the group and use that and then and then list all the members in that group as you can see here we have nine members so now we've selected a group so all we have to do now is click on synchronize and now all the contacts in that group with the, all their activities are synchronized with the contact folders for Chris Huffman that we've set up. Now that we've done, let's go into the synchronize into Outlook and see what we have. So what we have now is nine contacts in Outlook. So what we've done is synchronize the friends group over to the contacts folder in Outlook, which is pretty straightforward here. So we process friends. Let's just select a different group. Let's select the Chris Huffman group, which is basically friends and plus any, a lot of other things. Uh, we just select that and uh, we can go into the preview and we'll see there's 186 contacts for Chris Huffman. So we just click here on synchronize and off it goes and uh, we're now synchronizing all the 186 uh, uh, contacts into the, the folder. One thing we have to remember is we are adding these items on top of the existing friends group. So we're not only putting the Chris Huffman friends, now this is a combination of friends and the Chris Huffman contacts. So most likely we'll, we, we will get more than 186 contacts. So let's look at Outlook and as we can see we have 187 items in Outlook. So what we've seen is the friends and the Chris Huffman contacts overlap and there's one extra friend that is not part of his contact database that's been added. So what we have now in Outlook is group Chris Huffman and the, the friends uh, uh, group. So the logical way would be to, when you synchronize a group, that you want the destination folder to be the same as the group in ACT. And we offer an option to do that. Let's look at that option. And that option is the remove sync contacts and activities not linked to group. So everything that's going to be in that group now is should be matching here. So if we synchronize, we're now making sure with this option enabled, that anything that is not part of the Chris Huffman group gets removed from Outlook. So we just click on sync and it will go through all, all the items and now at the end we should only get 186 items. 
so our conversion is now done so let's just go into Outlook and see okay we got 186 items so now we're matching the number of contacts in our group to the number a number of contacts in ACT so for trial purposes only now let's just go and try and just say okay we want to select uh, let's go back to friends which are nine contacts what will happen if you have the remove sync contact we should have in Outlook then nine contacts that are left when, at the end of a synchronization let's just take that, check that out so go click and here we go and now we're going through let's go back into Outlook and see what we have in Outlook now we have nine contacts. So, to conclude here, the, when you have the remove sync contacts option in available or enabled in, in the synchronizer, anything that does not belong to the group that we've selected is removed in Outlook. This does not affect uh, ACT because they're only removed in, ACT, in Outlook and the ACT items are the same. So not for, now that we've done synchronizing the friends group with Outlook, let's just look at Outlook a little bit closer. Here we have all the friend contacts. Uh, let's go to the calendar. In general, I don't like watching or seeing the calendar this way, so I go to the view, uh, current view, and do all appointments. And that will show all the appointments that are on the calendar. We can see here that the contacts, these are appointments that are directly related to the group contacts. So we brought just the appointments that are part of our group. One of the requests that we've had many times is to bring the whole calendar and just a subset of contact data and just bring that over to Outlook and synchronize. So we offer that option too. So if you want to bring all, all your contact data you just click on the synchronize all contacts and then synchronize and now all the all the all the the calendar that is in act is now moved over to outlook and these are the items in which chris huffman is uh, scheduled with so what we have here is about you know 600 plus chris huffman calendar items that we're currently now as part of our group we're adding this to our uh, set of data that we're synchronizing with Outlook so we're done right here and so let's just close and then go into the calendar and now we have all the items that uh, are in the calendar brought over to Outlook at the same time we only have a small subset of contacts now we also offer an additional option here and that option is to um, instead of just bringing the all the activities also bring the contacts that are related to that activity so we'll have friends and then all the contacts that are related to the activity not just the activities themselves alone but the contact data as well so we can click here and what we'll see, it will go through the database, find the find the contacts that are, that have uh, activities, and then synchronize those with Outlook and add those into Outlook. So what we're seeing here now is the calendar is full with all the it items from Chris Huffman, and as well now we have all the contacts that are related to any of the items on the calendar. So these contacts are basically related to the calendar items. And if the calendar items get removed, these contacts then, because we have set the, the remove sync contacts, these contacts will get removed if the, if the calendar changes. Therefore, establishing a dynamic way of synchronizing between ACT and Outlook.